Um, can I get this Nikki Carter? That's one of our other instructors. Um, she's a former WBC World Thai Boxing Champion. She fought in Thailand and lived there for 15 months. She was the, four, the first uh, foreigner to fight in a female bank boy in the Bangkok prison. So she's dealt with stresses of many, many different types. Um, my name's Phil Island. I also run the program called Stress Workshops and one of the instructors. I um, run my own business for many years. And uh, as well as that, I've uh, dealt with stress in a few different ways. I was a former um, double English Thai boxing champion and um, a six times world stick fighting champion. So, although, as well as the normal stresses that, that many of you will have dealt with during a, your day to day life, we've also dealt with a, a few unusual stresses and had to uh, be in, in some unusual situations. So, today we're, do, we're here to talk about um, dealing with uh, stress within the workplace, basically. So one of the first questions when I speak to people is, do you get stressed? And the knee-jerk reaction that I get from so many people is, stress doesn't exist. No, not me. I don't get stressed. Stress? No, I've just, just got a lot on at the moment. Or well, only weak people get stressed. Does anybody here get stressed? Fantastic. So some of you do. One of the things I find that many people feel, they feel that it's a weakness to say that they get stressed. They, they want to call it something different. They want to say that they're improving their well-being or they want to call it, you know, uh, it's just pressure. I want people to understand that stress is just a natural response that people go through. And that there's a response that your body goes through called the fight or flight response. And it dates back to, to caveman days when we managed to successfully... Sorry, press the button. Uh, when we managed to kill a deer and we're, yeah, going to go home and feed the family. And we either need to fight off a rival caveman and stop them from um, taking it away from us, or we need to run for our lives because the lions decided to turn up and decided to get an appetizer as well. So what it, the body actually does, it goes through a physiological response. Lots of the, the chemicals in the body, the chemical responses that happen to us, actually start changing our being and how we're responding. So we tend to respond to situations very, very differently. Such as we get, we, we start sweating, we start perspiring, we tend to overfocus on one problem because if we're running from a lion, we're not really looking around as we're running, we're pretending just to look where we're running and trying to get away. So all of these manifest themselves nowadays in a more modern society and our bodies don't really deal with it. 